Collaboration is critical in today's world and it is sewn into the framework of Necto. In this short video, I will show you a few examples. Here is Necto's homepage. Here I see the list of my friends in Necto. Soon you will see how we use them while working with Necto. Adding a new friend is very easy. All I do is open the friends list and I can add now new friends from the list of Necto users. I'll add Anna in this case. Here, Necto gives me relevant work board it suggests to me to look at. Necto gives me personalized recommendations of work boards based on a list of criteria, one of which are my friends. In Necto, I can also use discussions. We will see more of these in a minute. Here, I can search and find a work board according to the discussion which it's a part of. I can also subscribe and follow the work of other users, like in Twitter. I can follow those who analyze information relevant to me or producers of interesting work boards and see what new things they've uncovered or produced. Following others' work is also a great way to learn how to use Necto. Here I see a work board I recently created. I can easily share it with my peers. I would like to share it with Daniel. And I can define what would be the privileges he has to do with his work board. I'll keep it as, as read. Now I can send this work board to him via email. So we can start using it. Necto also allows users to add their own knowledge on top of the formal data presented. You can see here a couple of examples as comments. Adding a comment is really easy. All I need to do is to drag the Add Comment button to the data element on which I would like to write my comment on so everybody can learn from it. But the comment does not need to be only a text. I can also add a link to another work board or to a URL. I can even create private comments that only I can see. We can see here that there is a specific problem in camera sales in June that Necto is alerting us to. I would like to ask the relevant person for the reason for it. Necto can do it for me and show me who are the relevant people and their connection to this specific figure? I'll do find people. And Necto can let me know who are the relevant people and their contribution to this figure. I can see that Adam seems to be the most associated person with this problem. So I'd like to start a discussion and ask him for more information. I will click on Adam and start a discussion. I'll write the discussion text in here. I would like to add more people to this discussion, so I'll open the social ribbon. The social ribbon allows me to interact with other people within Necto. It recommends to me who are the most relevant people to this work board or allows me to choose from one of my friends. I will add James to this discussion and also Rachel. I will click on send. I've built an ad hoc team to address this issue. They will all receive this discussion in their email with a link to this work board so they can continue their work and answer this discussion with more information. You can also see that there is a direct link to the element we are discussing. And since time may have passed since the initial discussion and the data may have changed since, I can click on it to see how it looked at the time the discussion started. We can also use the notifier to have Necto alert us to problems. You can see more about this in a separate video. We also have the Necto Advisor. The Necto Advisor can help me continue my work on other work boards, either according to the data that is being used in this work board or according to usage by my friends. 
you have seen some of the great collaboration capabilities in Ecto and how integrated they are into the platform. Now you can start benefiting from them.